Hi everybody, I have um, a video for you today. I always love the videos when people do pen reviews and ink reviews and pen and ink pairings, but I always feel like I don't have anything that's new and exciting and that anyone would want to watch me do a video on. Well, I've decided to say forget that. And um, I actually have decided to, I'm going to try and do twice a week a pen and ink pairing and review on one of my pens and one of my favorite inks. So today is an ink I've never tried before. I'm sure everybody knows this. Diamine. Diamine Earl Grey. I, have, I tried to cut paint my nails for this too and I messed up. Oh well. But Diamine Earl Grey. I've never used this before ever and um, I'm kind of nervous. I have one other Diamine ink and that is Ancient Copper but I really love it so I thought maybe it would be great. I have a new pen. It was a gift from my honey so I'm going to open this up and um, you a little bit about the pen, put the ink together, do some writing, and maybe entertain you a little bit in the process. Okay, so here we are. Fun fact, today is my very first time ever using a script on my channel. Um, I have the habit of, of just talking and blah, 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 and people don't like it. So today I'm going to kind of vaguely go by my script and see how that goes. Before I do that, I need a drink of my coffee. Mm. ASMR coffee. Okay, let's get to it clear. The pen that I received, that was my gift, almost was stuck, is in a pen sleeve that's very asmr -y too. But let's talk about this first. Hongdian. Hongdian has quickly become one of my favorite pen brands. Um, look at the covers or the, the pen containers that they send you. It's a tin container. This part can pull out and this is what holds you know the pen in there nice. It's a really nice, very, very fancy feeling foam. And then there's another line of foam down here. So you can put a few pens in here and use it as a pen case. You can put other things in here. You can remove this foam. But I just think that that's really great that they give you this. I mean, it's it's worth money in and of itself. So I just wanted to show that off real quick. I have amassed a few of these and I actually really like them. Okay, so now for the pen. Ooh, that's heavy. This is the Hongdian 1843 Navigator in the gray ripple pattern. This is a very fancy looking pen. Ooh. Okay. So here on the finial. <laughs> Finial. There's lots of really great words that I have learned since I've come to the fountain pen community, and finial is one of them. So there's the Hongdian logo, and that's really nice. This is um, a chrome metal finish on top of this cap. The pen is actually made of brass. Um, this is a screw cap as well, and it's got a chrome finish everywhere else. This right here, the gray pattern is lacquered gray ripple pattern and this is actually weighted really really nicely this this feels this feels like it would be you know a 50 60 dollar pen like just from holding it it just feels substantial let's see Ooh, ooh, really nice spring-loaded clip that's really nice I like that that's very very usable um, let's see what else I have over here so it comes in blue, brown, gray, and green, and it also comes, or it, okay, it is not a pull cap. It is a screw cap, and the nib comes in fine and extra fine. Um, and it's a 0.5 ml. For, for, 0.5 
is your fine nib and that's the kind of nib that I really like. It has really pretty scroll work. I learned that term for fountain pens too. And this is a stainless steel nib and there is the feed. So this section right here feels really nice. It doesn't feel, sometimes sections for me, if they are um, metal, I don't like them because sometimes my hands get really dry and then I feel like as I'm writing, the pen turns. This doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like that for me. It doesn't feel, like I've had a few Esther books that I've, or no, Conklin's, oh yeah. Conklin's that I have um, sold or given away because I couldn't stand the metal section. This is really nice. It's a thin section and these grooves right here for the cap, they're not, they're not hard. They're not, um, they're not uncomfortable. So I tend to write like this or depending on how long I'm writing or I have my pen between my fingers like that with my thumb on top. It feels very comfortable. Very comfortable. And let's see. So this um, also comes with a converter, a cartridge converter. And I have to say, I love Hongdian's cartridge converters. Look at how nice that is. It has the, oh no, I dropped it. So it has the metal nipple on the top. Don't be going getting all weird. It's what it's called. And the spring in there that I, it's the agitator, but I like to call it the shaker upper. And then this metal bit right down here. So you can take it apart and then you can put it back together for cleaning. Now I already broke one of these. <laughs> I took it apart and I couldn't figure out how to get it back together, so I broke one. So I've also already ordered a new um, package of just the converters. But I am going to guess that it has a plastic um, inside cap to keep it from drying out. If not, then I still have no worries about this drying out. My Hongdian pens, I've, I've not had a single issue with any of them drying out or actually anything at all. Um, I have become quite a lover of Hongdian pens. I have a few and I will be reviewing them here for you as well. Now I know you've probably already seen a whole bunch of other Hongdian pens reviewed and you're saying, Claire, why are you doing old stuff? I'm going to tell you this because it's what I have and it's what I'm going to do because I love my YouTube channel. I love putting out content but I don't have the type of budget to have a new pen every day or a new ink every day. So I'm gonna work with what I have. So I hope that's okay with you. So anyway, moving on, this pen right here on Amazon is $16.80. And this feels like a super, this actually feels like a $50, $60 pen. This is a giftable pen, guys. You don't have to tell the person you're getting it for that it was $16. <laughs> on the ratings, on Amazon for this. It has a hundred and, well, the, the, the store that I bought it from, which is the, uh, it's called Assign, Azign, Assign. I wrote it down. It's, it's, ah, uh, Asvine, Asvine Pen Store, which I've actually gotten all of my Hongdian pens from. Um, it has 173 global ratings with a 4.3 out of five. Um, and there are several other stores on Amazon that have this pen as well that also has phenomenal ratings. So today is my gray day. Today we have a beautiful Hongdian Navigator 1843 in gray ripple and Diamine Earl Gray with my matte gray nails because I'm bougie. And I actually just bought my very first Rhodia, the sticker was there, my very first Rhodia dot grid book for all of my, all of the, the pen reviews and testing and ink testing that I'm going to be doing. I've always just used my regular journal or, or, you know, spare Tomo River paper, but I don't write and journal on Tomo River paper. I very rarely write or journal on Rhodia paper. Um, in my journal reviews, you see that I use really, really basic journals that you can get anywhere 
So um, I actually have a whole bunch of those I need to catch on, on too. But I wanted to have a special book just for these videos. Just for the videos. So here it is. All right, I'm back. And here we go. So uh, the last few times I've done uh, swabbing my inks, I've used a cotton swab, a Q-tip but I kept getting Q-tip stuff in my ink and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna use this really old, well-loved um, number five round. Um, and here's my lovely pen all inked up. I'm gonna put that right there. And Moby Dick, I'm gonna find one of my favorite passages in Moby Dick for you to give you the um, quote. And what I wanna do is I wanna put my my ink swab in this cool little uh, silicone bottle that I found. Um, I found this, it's at a kit, or it was in a larger thing. It had a larger bottle too, but I don't need a larger bottle. And it's from the Recollections line and it can be found at um, Joann's. No, yes, no, Michael's. It can be found at Michael's. Or you can find it online. Um, so I'm going to stamp this down here with some Versa... Versa okay. I'm going to stamp this down here with some VersaFine in Onyx. And I don't know if this is... Um, I don't know if this is the kind that's waterproof or that's... Um, Anyway, let's go. We're just going to do it. All right, so. All right, there we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, but. Okay, and I plan on being really, really crazy and taking one page for each ink. I don't have a lot of inks, but. I do like the inks that I have. Yes! Yes! Successful stamp. That's what I'm talking about. That's going to make me happy for the whole rest of the day. Yep. Sure is. A lot of people, their reviews of this um, Earl Grey say that it's a very cool gray. And hold on, let me see if I can it's a very cool gray and I really wanted like a nice warm gray I tend to like warmer colors so I was thinking about um, Kirisame from the Pilot Orochizuku line but uh, I just don't have in my budget at the moment $20 for a new thing of ink and look at that. Do you see how awesome that went on? I felt so professional. That is a very nice, very, that is a very classic and, and buttoned up with a tie gray color. I like that. Let's see what else I can do with this gray. Dun, dun. Because some people are like they do lines, and that's one line and one pass, and this is one line. So it's it goes on darker, and then it, as it dries, it becomes warmer, and that's a second pass. I don't feel as though I need a third pass because I don't really do that many passes of of um, ink. So actually, let's see, so far I kind of like the way that looks. It's very pretty. It is definitely a cool gray. Let's oh, <laughs> almost fit my, my watercolor brush in my coffee. That would have been really, really gross. I just use that old muslin blanket and then I'll just wash my little watercolor brush when I'm all done. Yeah. Ooh, okay. ASMR coffee. All right. 
So my soft box, my light and my soft box went out. So I don't have the uh, background light that I usually have. But I think we'll be okay without it. So here it is on the back. It, it didn't come through and neither did my stamp, which is quite nice. There's shadowing um, or ghosting, whatever, but that's to be expected. And I actually kind of like that. Post very securely. It's not going to come off. And let's see. It doesn't feel back heavy. It doesn't feel back heavy when I'm writing at all. It it's balanced pretty, pretty evenly, I would say. Oh, look at me. I'm a circus performer. All right. So what do they always write? They write down what the name of the pen is. So this is the Hong Dian. Ooh, gosh. Am I writing with butter? Whoa, baby, that is smooth. 1843. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Navigator. Ooh, this pen has just navigated its way into my heart. Oh, yeah. That is amazing. With the gray ripple pattern. Oh my gosh. Fine <laughs> nib. Have you ever written with a nib that was so smooth that it made you go Ooh, like that? Yeah. That, oh my, 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 my. Stainless steel. Smooth. Nib. Let's see what else I can do. Um, and then, oh yeah, this is, this is, um, I have other Hong Dian's too, and they were all smooth out of the box, but this one, holy moly, this one is by far the smoothest I have written. This is actually out of, I think I have 27 pens. This is the smoothest pen that I own and I've only owned it and written with it for like two minutes. This is the smoothest. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> okay, so what do they do? They do lines to see if there's any line variation. Am I doing that right? Oh I gotta put I gotta like push down. What? Oh well let's see. I'm just learning how to do these. I didn't do those very well. Nope, there's no lily. There's no line variation. It's a hard, <laughs> hard and smooth stainless steel nib. Like, I can't even hear any feedback. There's like, there's no feedback hardly because it's just beautifully buttery. Oh my, and I, I can write with it from back here and feel like I'm controlling it here. It feels, it's very comfortable. The step up and the threads are very comfortable. And just like I thought, it's, it's not, it's not too smooth to the point where it's gonna move around when I write. So I'm writing with it posted. I can also write with it unposted. It's lighter when it's unposted, but I can write both ways. I actually prefer a heavier pen, so I'm gonna put it back. Okay, what else do they do? The quick brown fox. I don't really care about brown foxes, so here's what I'm gonna do real quick. I am going to leave this here. Let's see if it dries out before I pick it back up again. And I'm gonna search and find one of my favorite quotes in one of the I'm currently reading five books if you don't know about me I'm also an avid reader I'm currently reading Moby Dick for the very first time and so I really love it and I'm going to find a quote real quick and then I'm going to write it and you're going to be like wow Moby Dick is actually really funny okay here we go. 
Very simple. Very simple. Oh, we don't need to go that far away. Oh no, here we go. So, I guess I should probably next time have this like be doing over my shoulder with my softbox light. That might be helpful. So this is Moby to go. Oh, it's so soft. Wow. By Herman. Wow. I cannot believe. Yes, I'm looking to see how you spell Herman. Herman, <laughs> Herman Melville. And one L or two L's. Yeah, I just did that, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I cannot get over that. And this is chapter five. Wowzers. I'm going to be saying this the whole time. And every time I write with this, I think. Wow. However. Man. However. A good laugh is a my golly it is so smooth mighty good thing and rather scarce a good thing my gosh it's so smooth more's the pity. Oh my gosh, this is so smooth. Oh, this feels like butter. I just... Alright, I can see myself writing with this and then refilling it and writing with it and refilling it. Oh, I just lost some of my notes on my book. Holy moly, this pen, and I'm sure the ink has something to do with it, but this pen is amazing. Amazing, smooth. Wow, this is un believable. Let's see, will it focus? Focus you, focus. There we go. Wowzers, look at that beauty. It is so smooth. All right, well, I didn't want to take this long to, you know, do an ink and pen review, but man, it's just, it's beautiful. It's, wow. Perfect. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys. That's I'm. I could sit here and keep saying wow, and and I'm going to. I'm going to keep saying wow, and I'm going to keep writing with it. And this is going to be my my pen and my journal. And um, yeah. Eh, this is a really good pen. I could actually see myself buying another in a different color. Um. Or I could just be happy with what I have, which I may do. Just be happy with what I have. All right, guys. I thank you so much for sticking with me. If you liked this type of video, please let me know by giving me a like and leaving me a comment because that really helps my channel. And um, I hope to see you in the next pen and ink pairing video. Bye-bye.